Right, let's take this 1970 Land Rover for a spin. Oh, wouldn't like to come up. Starts well enough second turn. <laughs> it's been on the button all the way down, just 150 miles on it. But we're off now anyway. Okay, off we go into first. Go up the hill. Right, what can I tell you about this? Um, so I've just driven this over 150 miles. It's performed beautifully. There goes my trade plate. Things aren't going well. Um, oh, to reach the trade plate. 1970 Land Rover that's just been rebuilt um, last summer by a Land Rover mechanic from uh, um, a derelict one. Been rebuilt around um, another chassis. bulkhead haven't been replaced and they've done a good job they've done a very good job um, engine wise I'd say normally apart from just then it starts uh, absolutely on the button it has done so far that was second turn that time um, no misfiring overheating or hesitancy from the motor uh, temperature gauge is sitting just on the halfway point um, it's all good Clutch is nice on it. Gearbox is very nice. It's a nice quiet gearbox except the synchro from third to fourth gear is poor, it's fair to say. Um, so you have to either double the clutch or take it a bit slowly, as I've done just there. Um, and it changed gear form. It's a nice quiet gearbox on it. The whole the drivetrain is nice and quiet. The engine's actually like a sewing machine when it's at idle. It's not um, uh, a noisy one at all. Drive trains to quite quiet. Into fourth, we're pulling nicely at 30 miles an hour now. Nice and torquey. Um, brakes, considering this is a non servo model, the brakes are surprisingly good on this one. Uh, I can only imagine where it's been uh, um, rebuilt recently. They've fitted lots of new parts and stuff to it. Um, very, very hard to criticise to drive it. The steering's nice. All I can criticise, the steering was very slightly off, as you can see, about 20 degrees to the, uh, to the right. Um, But it bumbles along quite happily. So it feels very tight. It feels like it, like it is a car that has just recently been uh, taken apart and put back, back together again. If you know what I mean. Showing 67,000 miles. Afraid I've got no way of uh, confirming whether that's genuine or not. But say so speedo works, fuel gauge works, temperature gauge works, oil pressure lights, charge light will function as they should. I'm not sure about it. The um, fan switch is working. I can't, uh, can't hear the fan. I think it might be getting a dribble of air coming out of the uh, other there. Fairly warm as well. This is it, it's just trundling on quite happily now, it's sort of 55 indicated. Um, I've had it on the motorway, it's been fine. So I've done, uh, well it will be, by the time I get home, be 180 miles today, isn't it? and it's been uh, absolutely spot on. Yeah, that's about it really, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353. Or in the office on 0118-946-3352 if you've any uh, issues or queries with regard to this um, rebuilt 1970 Land Rover 88-inch uh, short wheelbase. Hard top with windows. Anyway.